I'm going to do a quick and easy tutorial video or walkthrough video anyhow of modeling this uh, this doorknob all right so I've got my reference image in the background I'm in front ortho view and I'll turn on my screencast keys down here okay and I'm going to go shift a and add a plane rotate x90 I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to collapse the vertices uh, in the center and in edit mode I'm going to pull up that one single vertex up to the top I'm going to take some liberties in doing this it's not going to be exactly the same uh, it's hard to see some of it but uh, I'll do my best so I'm just going to hit E and G for grab and I'm just going to go around the profile here some people would choose to use a circle or a cylinder to do this, but I like doing it this way. Uh, and now, uh, let me try this. So again, it's not gonna look exactly the same, but it will look cool anyhow. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna trace around the profile of this, just one side, and I'm gonna use the screw modifier to uh, you know, give it its, its shape, its form. See what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna come in. And then I'm gonna do a subdivision surface to smooth it out, and we'll see how it goes. Very simple, very quick. Likely more points than uh, well, I don't know if you used a cylinder or a circle. I guess to get that curve, you'd have to use quite a bit. So, I'm not too worried about that anyhow. Okay. I'm going to come up to here. Here or so, I'm going to come out actually relatively straight, and then I'm going to have to sort of create the curve myself. And then I'm going to come back to zero on the x. I'll zero it out in a second. I'm going to keep that point and grab the first point, open up the panel here on the side, and put both of the x values to zero. Back into object mode, you can see the side profile. So now I'm gonna come over to modifiers, choose the screw modifier. And if you get this, I'm just gonna switch axes. There's my shape. Add a subdivision surface, let's say two. And there you go, it looks pretty nice. All right. Um, where's my display? Turn off the grid. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, as long as it looks good, sometimes we get a little bit of a point at the top. Yeah, I see a little bit of a point. So the nice thing is I can come back in and I can grab this point and I can pull it down just a little, little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply uh, that uh, screw modifier and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the subdivision surface as well. Look down at the top, shift A to add a cylinder. And uh, where did I go? There it is. Scale it down. There it is. And I'll shift Z to lengthen it a bit. That's good. I'm gonna use this to punch holes. So um, maybe I want to apply scale to that. Okay, I'm gonna choose my doorknob and Boolean, difference, and select the cylinder. And it seems to have worked. Now, I just wanna go back and I wanna try, let's get rid of that for a second. I'm gonna try both, of, doing two of them at the same time. So uh, Shift D. And I'm going to bring it out so it's just sort of peeking out on the side, right? 
not being too exact you know, some something like that okay so I'll, I'll kind of join these together and we'll see how well uh, how well it works uh, maybe apply scale on that again okay select my doorknob difference okay it worked I'm gonna get rid of these and to clean this up I'm gonna try the edge split there, that's pretty good let's go ahead and apply that and that's basically it there's my there's my doorknob and you can now uh, add materials to it very simple but it looks it looks really good um, you know just with a very quick method of using the screw modifier okay thanks for watching